What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about a hostile takeover that's really taking the video game world by storm. A lot of you guys out there know what it's like to own your own family-owned businesses. Some of you might be a part of a family that owns a restaurant or a corner store or a clothing store. Sometimes these things happen and you want to keep it in the family. The game company Ubisoft and Gameloft is like this, believe it or not. Even though these companies have AAA games that they made, uh, not so much Gameloft because honestly I can't stand the company they steal from everybody but for the most part Ubisoft is its own entity that makes AAA games and they've made millions of dollars and they've got millions of fans. These are family owned companies by the Gilmalt family and they've been suffering at the hands of Vivendi Universal. Now for the people who don't know what Vivendi is, it's a mass media company. They own Universal Music, uh, they own all kinds of things out in France and they're a huge company. They've got millions of dollars. They used to own Blizzard yeah so they're really that big. They used to have, own lots of stock in Blizzard and Activision and uh, those acquisitions actually fell through. They sold stock and, and moved on to other what they consider bigger and better things. And so once the Gilmont family's companies went public and people were actually able to invest and buy stock in them, uh, Vivendi started to slowly acquire more and more stock in these companies Ubisoft and Gameloft. Uh, they made a very shrewd move at one point and tried to own 10% of the company. And of course, the Gilmont family saw that as, okay, this is not good. This is not really what we wanted. And at that point, it was a little too late because they already gone public. And it appears that Vivendi is actually moving forward and trying to take over these companies, which is really jacked up. I'll drop a link in the description. Vivendi's game love takeover may spark resignation of Ubisoft co-founder. Report claims Michael Guillemot is stepping down to prevent Ubisoft suffering a similar fate. Following Vivendi's shareholder-backed hostile takeover bid for mobile gaming developer Gameloft, Ubisoft co-founder and Gameloft CEO Michael Guillemot may be about to resign. Quote, a person familiar with the matter has confirmed Guillemot's pending resignation to Bloomberg, saying that Guillemot will join his brother and Ubisoft CEO Yves Guillemot in protecting Ubisoft from a similar Vivendi takeover. So Vivendi is already taken over Gameloft, and you guys who don't know, Gameloft is kind of a mobile game company. They've made every type of game that you can imagine as a ripoff of AAA titles and ported them to tablets and phones. Vivendi has been slowly buying up shares in Ubisoft as far back as October 2015 when it purchased a 6.7% share in the company, roughly 7.36 million shares at $161 million. It later upped its stake to 10.39%. Ubisoft, which remains a family-run business, called the moves, quote, unsolicited and unwelcome, end quote, at the time. But Vivendi continued undeterred, purchasing 30% of the sister company Gameloft. Vivendi finally convinced shareholders to part with their remaining stock by offering 50% over market value. The French media giant is now the majority shareholder at Gameloft, controlling around 56% of the vote. With the battle for Gameloft lost, the brothers Gilmont are now reportedly working with financial advisors to figure out how to best save Ubisoft from a similar fate. Currently, the Gilmots control 15% of the votes in Ubisoft. Vivendi, which claims it isn't seeking control, owns about 18% and has demanded board representation. Vivendi hasn't had the best track record when it comes to video games. In spite of the company's other media successes, Activision Blizzard launched an $8.17 billion buyback of most of Vivendi's shares just six years after the merger with Vivendi in 2007. The merger brought Blizzard under the control of Activision, but eliminated both the Vivendi Games brand and the once mighty Sierra Games sub-brand. But however strongly the Guillemots may be opposed to the Vivendi takeover at Ubisoft, some analysts believe the move may be beneficial to Ubisoft in the long term. Christine Arrington of IHS Technology said, quote, We are going in a very competitive part of the console cycle, and despite Ubisoft's efforts to expand like Activision and EA have, the company is still heavily dependent on hits. It doesn't have an Assassin's Creed iteration this year, and it isn't in a position to acquire market share like Activision's King purchase. So, if a deal could be structured where Ubisoft sees an influx of capital to invest in its diversification strategy and Vivendi takes a hand-off approach, it might not be a bad thing for the company." End quote. Vivendi isn't commenting on any potential Ubisoft takeover, but it did fire out an email in an attempt to reassure worried Gameloft employees. Quote, you work for a company that is already one of the most renowned and creative in the mobile game segment worldwide. We are convinced that Gameloft with Vivendi's backing can be more ambitious in his growth plans. 
In a rapidly involving market, your company, which needs industrial and financial backing to develop, will be able to count on your full support and commitment." End quote. So this sounds terrible. First of all, uh, Vivendi, of course, which is a huge multi-billion dollar company, they failed, probably the biggest failure in the video game industry when they lost Blizzard, which is huge for World of Warcraft. They've kind of crossed over now into the console space with games like Overwatch, which is doing very, very well. And now they want Gameloft, which they apparently have control of. They have a majority hold over Gameloft, and they're working towards taking control of Ubisoft. What does this mean for the company? Only time will tell. But let this be a lesson to developers out there. Unless you are prepared for a company with tons of money to take everything you've worked for, do not go public. Keep your shares to yourself. Don't put it out there where companies can just buy you up and take creative control from you and the people who worked hard to build. You know, I know the Gamot family have been working at Ubisoft and working to make this company what it is for many, many, many years. And uh, it's kind of a sad thing to know. I feel like even though Ubisoft isn't a mom and pop type of business, that it is a family-owned business, and it's been in the family for all these years, and these Gil Gilmont brothers have all been working hard to keep these companies going, and now Gameloft, which honestly I'm not sad to see go, uh, because I don't like Gameloft. I do dislike the way it was done, but Gameloft has never been a company that I honestly respected, because they take gameplay mechanics, complete gameplay ideas from other games that have been successful, they reword it, they retitle it, and they throw a few extra or less textures into the game and they call it something else and I just can't respect that there's no innovation at game love they just steal ideas from games that have already worked but Ubisoft is known uh, for some of their IP you know we got Watch Dogs we got The Division we've got Assassin's Creed these games have tons of fans and uh, who knows what will happen in the future now if it was Disney buying Ubisoft I wouldn't be worried about it because we see what Disney's doing they take franchises that have been kind of dead in the dust and bring them back to life. They make things better. But Vivendi, only time will tell when we see what happens with the future of Gameloft and Ubisoft. What do you guys think is going to happen here? Do you think Vivendi is going to take over? Do you think that they're going to keep a hands-off approach? Or are they going to remove everybody in power and just kind of do their own thing with the IPs that are owned at Gameloft and at Ubisoft? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe now. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.